Hey, friend. Hey, hope. I always say, manners cost nothing. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Oh, hello. This is turning into one of them days. Anyway, all the best to you. So long. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Morning, mister. Hey, mister. It's not so good. Good morning to you. Hey, careful now. Hey, y'all. Hello. Uh, buenos dias. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Oh, uh, nothing much back there. I, I'm afraid. Uh, just a, a few old books. Uh, you timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Uh, got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? Well, you just let me know if I can help at all. Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please. They made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. He made me do it, I swear. Don't tell the police, please! I'm really not a bad man. Come on, you don't have to clean me out! Cállate, cállate. Oh, ¿Quién es? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Help, please. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. 
Nos deja aquí. Ayúdanos. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Come with me. Don't worry. You're going to be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. ¿A dónde nos lleva? Amor, amor. Good to see you again. I can't keep doing this. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh, yes. Thank you. I, uh, here, payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna... What's the problem, Arthur? Let's go. Boy's gonna get shot My that I guarantee. We met this Mr. Bronte. Boy's gonna get shot that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. 
Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman, <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. <laughs> John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute. Come on, then. cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... he's okay. 
He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Branson for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. How do they expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground? Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. I'm gonna push your head. You watch my back. Once we get the boy back, that bastard better keep his word. The place is starting to make my skin crawl. I'll try this way. Wait. Hey there, boy. Come on, let's keep on him. Time comes, Arthur. Make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Damn it! How many you see? Oh, oh, let's fail, boys! 
This ain't worth it. Look out! They're making a run for it! You should have paid Mr. Bronte. Careful. They're leading us out in the open. Check that spot where it all kicked off. Think there might be something in here.
found a body. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. your time where's your host ah. like i said you took your time ah. i'm glad to see you let's get going what a fine man hey friend uh, thank mr everything. bronte you all for right? everything yeah i'm fine come on you know arthur mr bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house <laughs> and us just simple on, country fun. boys Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah! Whoa! All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And... Fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I have the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. 
Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Son, everything. We got him. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family.
darling. You're in a good mood. Just happy to have the boy back safe. Ain't nobody ever gonna take him again. I swear. So, I was thinking, maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stayed together. You know, in my room. You mean like a normal family? Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. Right about that. Come on, Strauss, we're celebrating. I'm very happy to see young Jack again. There he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. Next time, listen. Face. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Sure, Arthur. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends. My loved ones. A plan. Here's a real plan. Oh, excuse me, Karen. And we are going to find our own paradise. Our own heaven. Tahiti. Fiji. Australia. The real new world. Not this god stuff that all of you. 
Europe's detritus has handed out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are gonna be free. Free. Yes, we are, son. That's right, boss. To the right, son. You all right? Watching it all. Go on, have another drink. It's a party after all. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sure. Go to bed, Karen. I'm fine. <laughs> I know, but go to bed. Ugh, Forgive me. Karen. <laughs> Sermon, sure. Parson, if I had stayed with those Driscoll, you'd have probably killed me by now. Sometimes you ever think of that? We'd have both died. Six points, Kevin. Yes, but show that's true. Man that sleeps more
Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan. Will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And? That's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah, okay. Hello, Miss O'Shea. What is it, Arthur? Smile. Things could be worse. I'll smile when I got reason to. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Just leave me be.
My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. <laughs>